Lights. The flip of a switch. Pressing a button. We depend on a reliable supply of electricity to power our homes and businesses. We just expect the power to be there when we need it. Since 1941, Southwest Power Pool's mission has been helping our members work together to keep the lights on, today and in the future. SPP's story began just after the attack on Pearl Harbor, when America had an immediate need to build airplanes. Construction of those airplanes required large amounts of aluminum. The raw material for aluminum is bauxite, bringing us to Arkansas, which had the largest bauxite deposit in the nation. A plant was opened at Jones Mill, Arkansas to produce aluminum around the clock. Jones Mill required 120,000 kilowatts of power to operate at full capacity. However, the total power installed in the entire state of Arkansas was only 100,000 kilowatts. To provide the additional electricity, 11 regional utilities pooled their power. The wartime production of aluminum was secured. After the war, SPP's members decided to maintain the power pool due to the vast amount of knowledge and benefits gained from developing an interconnected regional electricity network. In 1965, a blackout took out electricity in much of the northeastern U.S. In response, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation was created in 1968. SPP was one of the founding members. In the following years, SPP continued to add members and services to help ensure the lights stay on. Our member companies have been working together for decades, and the relationship between Southwest Power Pool and our members and the relationships between our members have been the energy to take us to where we are today. SPP's headquarters are in Little Rock, Arkansas, and almost 600 highly skilled professionals are employed there. SPP is always looking for talented individuals to join our staff of business, IT, and engineering professionals. SPP has more than 65 members in nine states and serves as a regional transmission organization mandated and regulated by the federal government to maintain electric reliability. Southwest Power Pool doesn't own the electric grid, similar to air traffic controllers who monitor airspace above our nation. Our controllers monitor minute by minute the status of our electric power network to ensure that electricity safely and reliably gets to our end use customers. Working around the clock, SPP operators will take action to correct problems such as congestion on the lines. Computer models update with tens of thousands of data points per second to monitor grid reliability. Those models constantly run what-if scenarios to ensure the grid can withstand the next worst contingency should it occur. In addition to maintaining reliability, SPP manages use of the transmission lines by scheduling power flow on behalf of its members. Power lines are owned by different companies that rent the use of their lines. Moving power from point A to point B may require multiple transmission owners. SPP consolidated this process by administering one tariff with consistent rates and terms for everyone. SPP's Open Access Transmission Tariff is an evolving set of rates, terms, and conditions for use of the bulk power system. The tariff is regulated by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission and is designed to ensure non-discriminatory access for all transmission customers. Another service SPP offers is a wholesale energy market that allows participants to buy and sell power. Sometimes it is more cost effective for utilities to buy power than it is to generate it themselves. Our members use SPP Central Marketplace in order to make the most economic decisions. In addition to these real-time operations, SPP is responsible for ensuring that users of the bulk power grid in the SPP region comply with federal and regional reliability standards. As a regional transmission organization, SPP develops plans for future transmission needs. SPP doesn't build transmission infrastructure, but its tariff contains rules that govern construction. We work closely with our members to determine what new transmission projects are needed to maintain reliability into the future. 
We also assess what transmission projects would provide economic benefit to the region. The SPP region is rich in wind resources, but most of those resources are located in areas with little or no transmission. SPP is working toward an extra high voltage transmission superhighway that will facilitate bringing this renewable energy to the grid. Historically, we've expanded the transmission grid primarily to accommodate new consumer demand as well as to accommodate new generators that were being added to the grid. However, today, things are dramatically different. Today, with our new visionary transmission planning approach, we're not only trying to increase reliability, but we're also trying to add economic benefits and to meet public policy needs for the entire region. We're not only trying to incorporate the traditional fossil and nuclear generation, but we're also trying to incorporate the region's vast renewable resources into the transmission grid of the future. Our role here at SPP is to work with our members and the regulators to achieve this new vision. While much has changed over the years, our mission continues to be helping our members work together to keep the lights on today and in the future. Our real-time operations are about delivering reliable electricity today to our end-use customers. Our transmission planning processes are about our vision for our needs 10 to 25 years into the future. To learn more about Southwest Power Pool, visit us online at spp.org.